Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. This is Adrian here, 44 Degrees Motorbike Adventures. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your disc brakes and um, what they call the rotor. Um, before I go ahead and show you exactly what you need to do, I'm just going to say that why you, you need to change your rotors. Well, because they might be old enough and they need to be changed. Or you might have an issue with the rotor, maybe the rotor is bent and uh, that's my issue you know my rotor was a little bit bent and it was hitting the brake pads and uh, no matter what i did it was continuing to hit the bit of brake pads and uh, there's a bit of dent on on the rotor and uh, now some people say that it can be fixed but prices of rotor are not too expensive to be going to be honest with you so you might as well just replace them if you are going to replace your rotors you need to buy them in pair should never replace um, just one replace both of them and also if you're doing that you need to take into account that you're going to need new pads for that and also new bolts okay because most likely bolts that you're going to have on your old one is not going to come out easy and it's going to damage and you don't want to put the old ones in because the next time you won't take them out so the tools that you need is an impact driver and uh, a lot of people are saying that you need to heat up the bolts but just be very careful with that because in a Transop 700 especially in the Transop 700 VA there is a plastic cap on both sides where the, it holds the, the the brake disc sits on the top of it and you cannot apply heat there if you apply heat on that you're going to melt the cap so even though heat is a good thing to expand your bolts and make it easier to come out you're not going to do that so what you're going to use you need to a hammer a good hammer to bend those bolts or an impact uh, screwdriver to do that job for you that's it this is my new new bolts but i'm going to show you the old ones right and these are the old bolts for the transop 700 it's quite hard to find these bolts and uh, i searched the internet quite a lot and uh, some of them were um, uh, said it was compatible with uh, the Transop 700 but in fact when I got them they were not the same size so just keep an eye on that and uh, I'll tell you what which ones that I got and we're gonna see if they fit now they look the same size they should have fit and we see and if they do I just mentioned what ones that I got in the end of the video so but what I mean by banging by the, this bolt will be attached to here and they will be very very hard to come out so what you need to do is you need to get a, a big hammer right and you just banging in here really hard um, a few times and then you might use your impact screw gun or impact driver to take them out what I mean about the cap is the fact that this cap here you see this one here is plastic and if you try to heat the bolt here you start melting the cap on both sides right so heat is your last last thing that you want to do what you want to do is get your hammer which is your best friend out here give a quick slam here a few times and that should actually shake that bolt inside and release anything that's locking the bolt and then you can use your impact gun or your impact the screwdriver to take the bolt out the bolts that i'm using today i got them in the uk and that they are not for um transop 700 they are for a crf 250. Um, as i say you need your new lower also you need pads your new pads okay and your new screws right that's the old screw okay and i will compare here the two of them that's the new one and that's the old one okay and that uh, they are these screws are 8 m 22 on in length in the uh, here in the length and eight millimeters thick okay so that's the ones that you want to get for CRF 250 you can get them and get them cheap if you're gonna buy any original ones from this from Honda each one of them will cost you nine euros and I couldn't believe that they were selling this for nine euros it's unbelievable 
So anyway, let's do. Let's try to change this and uh, show you how to do it. All right, everybody. So what I'm gonna do first, even though they come coated with uh, some uh, Loctite here, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, blue Loctite on it. Um, these are the red one, I think. But uh, just gonna put the blue on the top of it. I'm not sure if this is really necessary, but the manual says to add that. So I might just do that. There'll be no harm in doing this. Um, also, this prevents any corrosion. Oops, right. A bit to one side and a bit in the other. Okay, I'm doing my hand now, but it's got tight enough that I need to just talk now with the wrench. Um, what we're gonna do is talk um, a bit and then we put apply the specified torque. So we're gonna do one, two, one, two, one, two. Technically, it was their fault then. So okay, so we have tight the bolts here, okay, but we haven't put the specification of uh, the torque yet. So what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna get the torque wrench and tight these guys completely. All right, so I have the specifications here. Well, I'm not sure if you can see, but the bolt is this one here. It's the uh, 42 nm or 31, which is a 31 pounds per foot pound or whatever um, so it's this here the bolt is right here the brake disc bolt okay so 31 pounds okay with the torque and um, or oh, it's 42 nm okay uh, so we have set our torque wrench here to now and we're gonna do that now we're gonna It's done there. Huh? Oops. There you go. And it's done. It's done. And that's done. So guys, that's basically it. That's what you need to do in the next on the, on the other side you do the same right so have recap this thing here just about to uh, know and don't, don't do the same mistakes that I did bolt like that when you try to take it out get your hammer and hammer that down a few times before you use and even before you even use your impact disc screwdriver or impact gun otherwise it's very easy to tear off this bolt do not use heating uh, do not use a, a torch to heat up this bolt because of this blast cap here will melt. Reheating is only your last option for these bolts to come out. Use your hammer and you should be fine. When you actually do replacing your bolts, your discs, you're gonna need a pair of discs, you're gonna need a new set of bolts, and you're gonna need new pans. The bolts that I got is the Honda CRF 250 and they fit perfectly here on the Transalp 700 okay uh, Transalp 700 VA if you are going to get the discs make sure the discs uh, have this groove here do not buy the discs around like that because I did that mistake and I had to return the disc even though they completely say to me that the discs were um, they, they were supported by the, the brand the Transalt 700 okay so make sure that like uh, you know that th these grooves needs to sit on the cap which I didn't pay attention and that cost me 
a bit of more money just because of that mistake okay so don't do the same mistake that I made okay um, this one is installed we're gonna do the same one well, same for the back the torque is 31 foot uh, pounds uh, and uh, or 42 nm and uh, we the screw as I say is for CR50 to 50 CR F250 for Christ's sake um, they are 8 millimeters so it's a M8 22 uh, millimeters in length okay so make sure that okay. very hard to find here in Europe especially in Ireland okay so uh, I put the description where I got this one here and you can have a look if you need we're gonna do the same for the other side now all right everybody so this is how you install your new brake discs on the Honda Transalp 700 um, I'll put the link on the description of this video on the places that I got the, the disc the bolts and uh, Hopefully it, this will help somebody that's trying to do the same as I did So thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next time